This is Knifing the Knowers 2, a zero mastery walkthrough. This is a sequel by Wanky Ray to Knifing the Knowers, his uh, Marrakesh contract where he had to stab a bunch of people in the consulate. Uh, that one wasn't super interesting as a uh, zero mastery run, but this one is because it requires us to kill five enforcers of the mansion security disguise with a letter opener. Uh, so we have to obtain the disguise and the weapon. We have to actually kill all these guys, and because they're enforcers of the disguise we need to use to kill them, it's very difficult to actually get in, uh, get up on them. Uh, they're also all on the top floor of the Sapienza Mansion, and we're starting obviously in the main square with the ICA-19 fiber wire and coins. The fiber wire, by the way, will be completely useless in this mission, uh, but whatever, we're going to keep it. We don't have any particular advantages here. We have to get everything, but the good news is it's not too hard to do it all uh, with all the uh, available uh, weapons and equipment. In fact, the fact that uh, he requires a letter opener makes this a lot easier because that's something you can only pick up in the level, so you don't have to bring it with you. Like if he made it a, you know, like a collapsible or a, yeah, folding knife or something, the collapsible knife or concealable knife, uh, that would have required me to, you know, bring it, which would have violated the rules. So the fact that it's a letter opener is nice. So I'm going to come up here to the ICA safe house. I don't need anything in the safe house, I'm just passing through. If you did stash something though, it'll be right there, if you stash it in the safe house anyway. But I'm going to assume you didn't. We're going to come down here. And in this apartment outside on the patio here is a laundry basket with a mansion security disguise. So now our suit's in a safe place. No one ever comes into that apartment. So there's zero chance of someone catching you changing clothes there. And we're going to come down here. Now I'm going to get recorded by a couple of cameras as I head to the observatory. Don't worry about this because uh, I'm going to be near the evidence and I am going to destroy it just for uh, safety's sake. Rat under my bones. So, if you don't get caught by cameras, great. If you do, don't worry about it. Just come through this window into the observatory, and we don't need anything really in the observatory either, just head upstairs. And there are two crowbars along the way, one down there, one as you're climbing up the pipe to the roof, but I'm going to go ahead and just grab the mansion master key that's over here instead which does all the same things as the crowbar. Except knock people out, so it's technically worse. But it is quiet when you use it. That should never be a factor, but just something to note. What we're going to do is come over the roof and head into that window and then into Francesca de Santos' office. She'll probably be here, unless you've been really slow. However, don't worry about that, because once you're actually in here, you'll see that they are not enforcers. Uh, Francesca is not, her guard is not, so... Even though it looked like they were, that's because we were trespassing on the roof. But once we're actually inside, they're not uh, anymore. So we're going to unlock this door into Silvio's bathroom. And we're going to come into his bedroom suite. This way. What we're going to do is run over here, get the letter opener out, open these doors. And then when, once you see the prompt to eliminate the guy who's at the door, just kill him. We're going to drag him inside and take him to this closet. Again, you don't normally need to stash these bodies. Hiding them is probably good enough. But I'm going to go ahead and do that with as many of them as I can. Now, got a couple of guards in here. This one should be when we get this Isaiah guy. So just throw a coin here and hide kind of behind the door here. He's going to come through, make sure no one's looking at you, go ahead and take him out, and we're going to drag him to the same cabinet. There's an extra, oh yeah, we have to unlock this. There's an extra box in the little storage room if you'd rather use that door's not locked, so that one's also an option. We're probably going get, to be getting people in both. Now, DeSantis is coming through here with her other guard. And there's that guy, and then there's that guy. So we're going to need to take care of those guys. What we're going to do, though, we're going to wait and run past the them and I get out here. The well, they have and what we're going to do is we're going to open this door well, I can't believe and throw a coin here. That should get that guard come out. I waited a little bit till DeSantis had left because uh, if Francesca hears something, often what she will do is uh, order a random guard or a guard near her to get up, and that's just kind of a risk that I don't want to take. Now I'm gonna throw another coin over here. Okay. To lure this guy over. 
to her office. Again, this is not strictly necessary. You could probably stab him right there and leave him right there, and as long as you get rid of that guy quickly enough, uh, this probably won't be an issue. But the reason I'm doing this is I want to get him into Francesca's office here. If anyone's there, identify- Command, we're good. Standing down. And once he comes into the office, no one should be around, so we'll stab him. <laughs> And we'll dump him in that container. If you want to avoid Francesca having a fit later, just pick up the pistol so that she doesn't report it, but that shouldn't be an issue otherwise. For some reason, doing that also made for Francesca move out of uh, central area, which is good. The Enforcer has turned around because of that, so we're going to come out here and stab this guy. Now, you can just dump him over that railing, and I don't think he will ever be found, but... Just to be on the safe side. I'm going to wait until everyone's facing away, and I'm going to drag him over here. Again, you could just dump him over the railing. No one should ever find the body, but they technically can, because it's not hidden. So just to be absolutely safe, I'm going to go and bring him over here. There's a container. So, now we've only got one guy, but the problem is, it's Francesca's guard. The good news is that Francesca is about to go back into her office, so we'll wait a second, and we'll handle that in a minute, but first, let's go ahead and delete the evidence, so no need to worry about that, we've just taken it out. What's going to happen is Francesca will walk into her office along with one of her guards, and her other guard will stay outside. Well, actually, he won't stay outside. He'll come back inside, but same idea. So what we need to do... I guess you didn't see me. Either. We're going to distract her with a coin. Uh, hey, excuse me, sir. We're going to throw uh, another coin over there. Oh. That'll get him over. Command, just heard a strange noise. I just distracted her with the coin because there's a chance that she's closer than he is. You know, if you want, you can drop a gun in this hallway and just have one of these guys report it. It's just as easy. I'm going to throw another coin into the hallway. Once again, advance him a little Command. further. Command. False alarm. Nothing to report. Now, we do have an issue with that guy. Make sure that he is turned around. Because he is close enough that he can see you stab people through the door. Okay. Now we got that guy. We're going to drag him in here and dump him as well. So everyone is taken care of. Now we need to leave. Safest way to leave is to just go right back the way we came. So if you try to go downstairs, there are more enforcers. It's just not really worth the risk. Instead, we're going to go back into the observatory. Downstairs. Stairs. There may be a guard in there. Don't worry, he's not an enforcer. It's that guy. So don't worry about it. There's no chance of him spotting you, even if you're in there. You're technically not trespassing in the observatory as a guard anyway, so it should be okay. But sometimes Caruso will be in there with his guards, and if you see that, don't even enter the main observatory area. There's no reason to. So we're going to come back up here. Head back to the apartment that we were in. Get our suit back. And then we'll just go right back to the safe house. Down to street level. And exit with the car. No need to worry about any shenanigans involving the gate guards or anything like that. Of course, if you are still in your guard disguise, you can run right out the gate. Uh, neither of those gate guards are enforcers of that disguise, so they'll just let you leave. There you go. It wasn't fast, but as usual, uh, it's pretty safe, and it should work relatively predictably. The only tough thing is that last guard, because he is a bodyguard, but as long as DeSantis is in her office, he should respond normally to distractions. That takes care of it.